Hello, this is Jan from JC Web Tech and today I would like to share with you how you can sort of hack or extend the functionality of Chat Engine Carousel and achieve for example this kind of effect of uh, continuous animation or some hint how you can create custom navigation or a center mode which means that one of the slides is in the middle and the others are just showing on the sides. So without further ado, let's dive into it. I recently had a project that required these kind of advanced carousels with dynamic content. So obviously Jet Engine was the clear choice for that. To give you a little bit of a context for the Jet Engine, uh, with Jet Engine you can create custom post types and listings. Listings means that uh, you will design how the post type will be or some preview of the post type will be displayed with dynamic data. For example, this is a custom field. This is displaying the featured image of the post type, which is the testimonial, as you can see. And I can be adding testimonials and they will be shown on the front end. And if you activate this option of slider gallery for dynamic field widget in Elementor, you'll be able to activate slider for the grid of the custom post types, whatever it is in your case. But unfortunately, this slider, although it's very powerful, is missing some uh, options that were required for this project. So I did a little bit of an investigation and I found out that Jet Engine is using Slick Carousel, which has uh, which is a library that has a lot of options and very extensive uh, documentation that you can find here. And it's actually possible to use any of these options, including very, very advanced options. It's possible to use them together with the jet engine slider, you just need a little bit of custom code. So basically most important part of this code is this line here, which is saying that the slick carousel with a class that I have assigned in Elementor classes carousel, because kind of classes or courses I can show you here. Advanced classes carousel. So we grab this this carousel and we start to give it some uh, some properties it may look a little scary but believe me that this dots falls is nothing more nor nothing less than going uh, to the settings of uh, your slider and enabling or disabling the dots for example just instead of switching the switch you would type false or true and like this, you can modify the settings. For example, what I did here is that I have a bunch of breakpoints. So I have the exact amount of the slides displayed on the screen on each uh, of uh, possible resolution, which can be very handy. And for, apart from some breakpoint, I am using the center mode, which means that this slide is in the center and this uh, these slides are just showing partly on a side here is this is uh, the second carousel of the testimonial carousel that we can see here here and this code is responsible for it uh, continuously sliding i didn't write this code i found it by simply googling this option for slick carousel so thanks Glenn for this little snippet that I could use here and uh, achieve this this continuous movement which I think is a great fit for this carousel because you can actually read the testimonials unlike when uh, the carousel is just jumping slide by slide around and it's really hard to follow and some other interesting uh, code this is again different slightly different settings mostly the number of the slides to be shown on different screens and uh, another 
interesting code is here which is saying if I go here you can see that I put here this element and I gave it the ID more and this is saying that when I click on this element with ID more the testimonial with class testimonial carousel will will slide to the next slide so here you can see when I click and see next one I have this kind of navigation you can extend it to more uh, I will not go into details on this video because uh, the scope of this video is to really show you that there are options I cannot really go in a couple of minutes through all these options and there would be no point because once again they are very well documented here and you can also google for specific uh, solutions and find again this kind of snippets from amazing people that share, that share this knowledge online and uh, and yeah uh, you can let me know what you achieved with this if it was practical and I see you in the next one.